Ten on your side also spent the day digging for more information in the deaths of two FBI agents. The FBI is conducting its own investigation into Friday's deadly training accident. We have team coverage tonight, starting with Ten on Your Side's Art Khan. And Art, you've been in contact with the Bureau. What information have they been willing to share with you? Well, Tom and Nicole, as you mentioned, this investigation is ongoing. And since the accident just happened on Friday, the FBI really isn't saying much thus far. We know the agents were killed during a training exercise off the coast of Virginia Beach, and whether in training or carrying out an actual mission, we know there's always a high degree of risk present. The hostage response team's motto is save lives. Training for that mission cost two members of the team their own lives last week. It really is an elite tactical team. Any type of uh, situation where there's high risk I think is where they're called upon. Deputy Director Sean Joyce is a former HRT operator being interviewed in this video released on YouTube. He says the team does work with military units, even though both the Navy and the Navy SEALs have denied any involvement with Friday's exercise. They're working with the counterterrorism units uh, in all the military branches, so they really are afforded the resources and the ability to uh, acquire and really maintain a level of training that is impossible at the other levels. The accident that occurred off Virginia Beach involved a helicopter and possibly a vessel belonging to the Military Sealift Command, which is a branch of the U.S. Navy. The Military Sealift Command refused to provide any details about their possible involvement, referring all media inquiries to the FBI, which so far has not answered our questions about the vessel. The helicopter that brought the two victims to Norfolk Centera Hospital Friday afternoon appears to be some kind of military or government aircraft, but it carried no markings, and the FBI has not provided any additional details about this part of the operation either. Now, the two operatives killed in the accident have been identified as Special Agent Christopher Lorick, 41 years old, and Special Agent Stephen Shaw, who was 40. Both of these men were experienced agents, and both leave behind a wife and two kids. Now, we're still waiting for the FBI to provide us with some pictures of the two and more details about the accident. If that information comes within the arrow, we'll share it with you at 6. Reporting live from the newsroom, Art Khan, 10 on your side.